What's up machine freaks? I want to bring you up to speed on this 3D Machines production. First of all, this is the day we took off. I broke it up into two videos because I didn't think I was going to get any filming done. When I got to West Virginia, I was right. Unfortunately, I didn't have any service. I ended up almost breaking my hand off my arm. We didn't have power here in my town today. But none of that matters yet. Let's get into this 3D Machines production. Hello ladies and gentlemen of the internet. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. I hope you're staying froggy fresh. I hope you're staying super fly. Today I am here with Seth. Uh, on the last 3D Machines production, you saw that Jake, Seth, and I loaded up the Honda. Seth, you got this, or you want me to help you out? Or oh, hey, Jake's here with his meal. Jake, your hand. What do you got to say there, dog? Squash and zucchini, man. Only the finest. I love it. <laughs> I do. I love it. The Honda is looking great, you guys. Jake, Seth, you're gonna, you're gonna wipe up. Oh, <laughs> Seth, be careful, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> this is why I have to load my, unload my bike because no one helps me. Careful! Okay. Don't drop it! Well, I'm glad you didn't drop the Honda. This thing is a lot more precious than your bike. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Do you think it'll start first kick? First try? No. Really? Put it in the back of the truck or you want yours in the trailer? Well, I'm going to see if it starts first kick first. Well, I would recommend well, turning the gas on. I would recommend not having Seth kick it. Yeah, it is a 450 four stroke. It's garbage. Choke on or no? Uh, yeah. Uh, you're ready. You think it'll start? Oh my god! This thing sucks. Okay, hey, whoa, whoa, before you kick it anymore, it's my turn. Let's see if I can start first kick. Oh, nope. 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 I should have bought a blue one, Seth. <laughs> You're gonna have a hell of a week. Put your squash down, let's go. I'm gonna feed you. Stop, I'm gonna feed him. Ooh, doesn't that look scrumptious? It looks like diarrhea, but. The viewers don't wanna eat squash. You think your blue one's better than my red one? I think the dogs would agree with me that the red one's better. You have more problems than anyone else I know. Though. What do you mean? I never ride the thing. Because you can't, because it's got so many problems. Oh, I apologize. <laughs> Jake's still working on that kickstand. That easy out wasn't, wasn't the job. I told you those easy outs are never easy. I drilled it all the way through for the easy out access to go in there. So I get the easy out in there, and then I go to freaking use my drill, it wouldn't do it. Just uh, So I go ahead, I put a pair of crescent wrench, uh, crescent wrench on there, and I go and I start turning, 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 then bam, the end of the easy out freaking snapped. <laughs> and <laughs> then what happened, Jake? What happened after that? There's there's the snapped easy out end. Yep. So then I get all pissed off and I'm like, frigate, we'll drill it all the way through, and then I'll tap it. So I'm sending the drill bit home, ah, drilling away. Drill bit freaking snapped. I put too much up and down pressure on it, snapped it. Drill bit gets snapped off in there. I'm like, okay, drill bits are kind of brittle. I'll beat it with a punch, break it, and it'll just fall out that way. Did that work? I go ahead, I throw my punch in there, start beating that sucker, and my punch end snapped. Oh, we so got you got three different pieces of material lodged in that thing. There's the punch end. So, so he's just totally screwed. I think the dogs want to race you. Do you think you would take them? I know I would. I don't know, man. They got four wheel peel. You only got one wheel peel. So I think, I think they got you. So, what do we plan on taking to Virginia? Are we taking that trailer? Well, we can't put Seth's bike in this trailer because his leaks gas, right? So, well, that one definitely likes, can't go. It likes to fall over, is all. <laughs> why, why is that? I don't know, because he doesn't strap it good. <laughs> Jake's bike is now loaded. Jake came up with a good solution. I actually came up with this like a long, long time ago. Right here, I actually have an aluminum one. See how he's got that board in his tire? That makes it so much more sturdy when he goes to load it. So I didn't bring mine up because I completely right forgot. So Jake's just gonna, is that gonna work right there? Just like that? Just like that. Don't you have to cut it? You have to cut it. And then, and then once we get done loading it, we can use it as a, a chalk for the tire. Perfect. Yep. Like that. It's 
Wilkies. Team orange and team red is loaded. Yeah, now we're gonna have a blue one in there too. So now that the bikes are loaded, we're actually gonna bring a different style bike. Where is it? We're gonna take that one? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's for me when the Honda breaks down. That one's not that bad either. So instead of taking something like this, lightweight, versatile, we're taking this. This is gonna be a spare, right Jake? Yep, we gotta backup do bike. Yeah, backup bike, so nobody is intentionally going to ride this, hopefully. If anything were to happen, this is going to help somebody with their vacation. But unfortunately, it's got a dead battery, so I don't know if the backup's really a backup at this point. It's kind of like a lawn ornament right now. And just like a lot of modern bikes, it doesn't have a Kickstarter. Luckily, West Virginia has a lot of hills though, right Jake? Oh yeah, we can bump start this thing. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That worked. You girls want to race this one now? I think you'll have more difficulties. How fast do you think this goes, Jake? I took it up, up Coon Road and then back down Coon Road. And going up, I could only do about 80, but coming back down, I did 100. And I didn't even speed wobble. Coon Road is in Mexico. Isn't that right, Jake? Yeah. Good girl. Set. Pa. Good girl. As you know, yesterday I uploaded and told you guys to go over to Roman Atwood's Twitter and tweet him. And you guys did a phenomenal job doing that. And I want to thank each and every one of you that supported me and helped move me closer into that list. He's at, I think, 31 cars established. What I mean by that is he has 31 qualified racers right now. I think the biggest issue with this entire thing is getting everything executed. Now I understand I only have 570 something thousand subscribers. I understand that everybody else has millions of subscribers. But here's the thing you guys, don't ever let numbers or don't ever let size get in the way of anything. If you have the idea and you have the confidence, you can do anything you want. I am telling you this. And there's a reason why all these huge YouTubers tell you that you can do anything. It's because they've done it. I've done it. I believe Roman needs solutions to his event. I think I have a few solutions for it. I hope that's enough for him to contact me because I, I do have two solutions. I have one for the location and I have two for getting the cars already. Once we get the location down, I can make calls. For the cars, I have an idea. If he wants to email me, if you guys want to tell Roman, go to his Twitter and say 3D Machines has some ideas. As um, soon as he gets a hold of me, I'm hoping that me coming up with solutions can get me a spot in that number 40. With your guys' help, with my solutions, I think we can get 3D machines in this list. I'll leave my Twitter right here. Not only did we tweet the hell out of Roman, but we also went on Instagram. Well, I made an Instagram. That one will be right here. So if you guys want to see 3D machines at this event, or if you even want to see this event happen, there's going to be a lot of work needed. I got a little attention from Shondaris on Twitter. I got a little attention from Adam LZ on Twitter. But in my opinion, the biggest problem with this entire event is getting cars together because all of the people on the list so far aren't really car people. I think Adam LZ is the only real car person. So even if you're not super stoked about seeing me at this event, but you do want to see the event actually happen, tell Roman I have some ideas. I can at least get that event a little closer to being executed. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little 3D Machines production. If you have any questions or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. I will try my best to bring you guys up to speed tomorrow. There's just so much to do. There's so much going on. Like I said, don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. I know I sound like Ty Lopez or Tony Robbins, but if you really focus and you're really determined to do something, you can do it. You're awesome. Stay froggy fresh. Stay super fly. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out. Hey.